the Meru Rally has become the first event to be held in Kenya following the country's reinstatement to the World Rally Championship circuit. The motor sport has for long been known as a dangerous but thrilling discipline. What happened in the eastern Kenyan town on Saturday gave organizers of the 2020 WRC event an insight of what lies in store. A CGTN's Mohamed Abubakar now reports. Three, two, one. Rallying returned to the heart of Meru after a nine-year hiatus to a small crowd of people at the start. Kenya Rally champion Carl Tundo was flagged off first. Soon he was followed by current championship leader Baldev Chaga with three-time Africa Rally champion Manvir Barian. It didn't take long before drama unfolded as Barian first went off track, almost hitting a traffic marshal. Then it was the vehicles getting stuck in the mud, leading to tens of spectators trying to pull out the drivers. It's been a good day, let's say it started off well. Stage one was good, uh, we were third fastest. Stage two, we hit a small stone. Slowed us down quite a bit, we broke an arm. Lost a lot of time in the spectator stage when we lost concentration, when we saw a police car stuck just literally on the, on the road and uh, we got stuck ourselves. By the time we got towed out, lost good, I don't know, five minutes, eight minutes. Minutes after cars had taken off for the fourth stage, information got out that Barian had crashed while some drivers were still at the service centre. But emergency response rushed to him and he was flown out to Nairobi for treatment. Had, you know, we hit the same rock that Manvia rolled on uh, and smashed the windscreen, uh, oil pressure. So it's, it's, it hasn't been a, a fluid day, but it's been, at least we got it to the end and managed to take Baldi on the last section, which is great. I have a car now which is purpose built for rallying. The, the cage is actually welded into the body it's not bolted on so there's a difference between a bolt on and the welded in uh, cage yeah the bolt on may be able to give you like some flex in the body uh, you don't get a real feel of the car with the bolt with the with the welded in real roll cage everything's very rigid and the car and the feel of the car is just very very precise so we have that we have a head and neck protection uh, device that goes over our shoulders that's strapped down to us with uh, with our belts we have a five point harness we have the helmets, we have uh, the overalls that we wear and the inner part of the overalls which, which help with fire. In the case of fire, which is a very dangerous thing, when it comes to rallying, it's one of the worst things that can happen to you is, 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 is uh, coming uh, close to a, a hazardous situation whereby the car cat catches fire. Motorsports is a high adrenaline and a risky sport. Recently, there has been emphasis on safety standards across all rallies to match up the WRC standards, and this has earned Kenya a sport in the global circuit. Mohamed Abubakar, CGTN.